slow, precise, and unforgiving. That patience has paid off. Now, for the first time, we're seeing Bennu up close. Long before OSIRIS-REx ever launched, scientists already had a pretty good idea of what Bennu looked like. Using radar data collected from Earth, they built detailed simulations of its shape and surface. As the spacecraft approached and sent back its first images, the team compared them to their models. To their astonishment, the predictions were almost perfect. When OSIRIS-REx closed in to just 20 kilometers, Bennu came into full view, a dark, rugged world covered in rocky debris. Imagine looking down on a giant pile of rubble floating in space, and you'll get the picture. It resembled Itokawa, another asteroid visited earlier by Japan's Hayabusa mission, more a clump of fragments than a solid body. Bennu is small, only about 500 metres across, shaped like a spinning top. Its rapid rotation and weak gravity may have forced loose material toward its equator, giving it that unusual profile. Classified as a carbonaceous B-type asteroid, Bennu is among the rarer kinds, possibly born from collisions 